Well, I think that uh, the government in Beijing is going to be looking at what the uh, admi Trump administration does with the $200 billion uh, of t worth of tariffs. So um, a lot of people here, um, manufacturers as well as government officials, are concerned about how big that number is and just how many different types of products would be covered. But um, when you were talking before about the talks that we just heard about in Washington, you know, the, the expectations were so low that anything that was going to come of it, and in some ways that could be seen as a good thing, uh, but um, the bad thing is that, as you had pointed out, uh, the uh, chances now of any sort of deal happening anytime soon is looking much more remote. And uh, um, from what I understand and what I've been hearing, the two sides were just talking past each other. Uh, people who are familiar with the discussions had said that the Chinese continue to point out, uh, to really focus on the uh, reduction of the trade deficit and buying more American goods, but not addressing issues that are important to American companies as well as European companies, and that is uh, the accusations of IP theft or uh, the way that China promotes certain industries, including high tech, in a way that uh, both European as well as uh, American companies feel is unfair. So the White House has been uh, pushing this issue and saying that they want to hear this, this, these, these issues on the table. Uh, but um, just this morning, the Chinese state planner uh, reiterated that the country would stick to its innovation strategies despite the U.S. tariffs targeting Chinese high tech goods and the state planner reiterated that the tariffs would hurt high-tech products in both countries. So uh, you had mentioned uh, some of the comments that we heard out of the Commerce Ministry. Uh, they described the discussions as constructive as well as frank uh, and said that the two sides are going to keep in touch with each other about the next steps. But it's still uh, unclear as to whether or not they're going to be in touch about any discussions. And then that is going to throw a spanner in the works for some of the hopes here, which is that these discussions were going to be potentially a first step that could lead to further negotiations and then possibly a final deal at the end of the year when President Xi and Trump are expected to be meeting on the sidelines of two international conferences. So that was the hope. And now it looks as though that at least the time frame of that is uh, much less reduced. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.